Mary Hamilton, of whom we are going to speak today, came from the Scottish Hamilton family, which in the 16th century moved to Russia and within a few centuries was finally Russified. According to reliable sources, we know that Mary had unsurpassed external data, which skillfully used for its own purposes. So, too, Peter I, a great admirer of female charm, once fell into her net. Their relationship began its account in 1713, when she first appeared at the royal court, becoming something of a center of universal universal admiration. As a favorite of Peter the Great, she had a tremendous influence not only on the Tsar, but on all of Russian society. Moreover, for obvious reasons, she managed to get herself appointed maid of honor to Catherine I, the official wife of Peter, Alexievich, thereby further strengthening her position. Things began to change from 1716, when Peter I sharply cooled towards her. This led Maria Hamilton, who did not want to be expelled from the royal environment to search for new partners among the approximates of the king, and they became his servant Ivan Mikhailovich Orlov. Many historians believe that the relationship between Mary and Orlov were not hospitable, even survived the information that Ivan often beat his mistress and was with her very rude. She was pregnant three times, Two times she induced miscarriages, but the third time she failed. She had to get rid of the baby after it was born, from the maid's testimony. This brought on certain negative rumors in her direction. At this time, Orlov also begins to alienate her, preferring to spend time with Avdatya Chernyshova, Peter the Great's former mistress. Maria Hamilton does everything she can to propitiate Ivan Orlov, even going so far as to personally steal some of the jewels from Catherine the Great's chambers in order to pay off her lover's debts and restore his former affection for her. Secret Secret became clear in 1717, when, according to some sources, Sources, Orlov was summoned for questioning to Peter the Great, they say, he stole some valuable state documents and jewelry, which later turned out to belong to Catherine the Great. Despite all the comicality of the situation, it made a tremendous impression on Orlov. He literally begged Peter for leniency, and told him that his mistress, Maria, had secretly murdered his newborn child. Peter was furious. There may have been several reasons for Peter I's displeasure with Mary the Tsar had recently signed a decree in Russia that all illegal legitimate children were to be placed in special institutions by design. They were to grow up into state. Soldiers. The father of Maria Hamilton's child could have been Peter. Of course, these are only probable reasons. But nevertheless, Peter decided to execute the former favorite Maria Hamilton was beheaded in March 1719. This execution was memorable to all present. After the head of the infanticide was beheaded, the Tsar lifted her up and gave a short lesson in anatomy to those present, then kissed her on the lips and and gave orders to have the head spun and given to the Kunstkammer. Such was Peter the First.